Hi, this is Ren Mayer. Do you have any incomplete puzzles? Do not throw them away, but instead turn them into fridge magnets. This project can be a nice gift for Mother's Day or any other occasion. I bought these puzzles with large pieces in a church sale and I have no idea if they are even complete. I am going to try to build them to be better able to decide what pieces I will use to create original magnets. I will present to you two different magnets each time using one piece of the puzzle. The most convenient is to work on the back of the puzzle piece because the cardboard is not glossy and the paint will stick better. Start by painting a coat of white paint on the back of the puzzle piece and let dry. The white color will form a good basis for whatever your choice of color is to decorate the puzzle piece. With the first piece of puzzle, I chose to represent a beach. Here is how to create a magnet like that. Start by painting about half of the puzzle piece in a sand color and let dry. Then, paint the other half in a pretty turquoise color that evokes the color of the water in the tropics. Let dry. Put the puzzle piece in a small dish and spread white glue on the sand colored part. Then, pour sand on the glue. Remove the excess of sand and let dry. In a dish, prepare turquoise paint and white paint side by side. For this step, use a deer foot brush. That is a brush where the bristles are cut at an angle. Put white paint on the side of the brush where the bristles are long and turquoise paint on the short side. Now, tap the brush along the sand line with the long bristles dipped in white paint toward the sand and the short bristles dipped in turquoise paint toward the water. This will create an effect of waves hitting the sand. Let dry completely. If you wish, you can put a coat of varnish over the turquoise side. In a craft store, I found small adhesive foam sandals. These little sandals gave me the idea to create this magnet. Glue the little sandals with glue on the sand side of the puzzle piece. If you cannot find small adhesive sandals, you can cut them out of a piece of foam or paint them on construction paper and glue them in place. When everything is dry, glue a magnet on the back of the puzzle piece. Before gluing the magnet, check which side of the magnet is magnetized by testing it on the fridge for example. Glue the non-magnetic side on the back of your project. Now I am going to show you another magnet model. Again, take the back of the puzzle piece and paint it white to make it a good base for any color. I chose to turn this puzzle piece into a leaf eaten by a caterpillar. My inspiration for this magnet is the story of the very hungry caterpillar. To create this magnet, paint the back of the puzzle piece completely green. When the paint is dry, you can paint the veins of the leaf with a very fine brush in a darker green. If you wish, you can add a coat of acrylic varnish. This step is optional. When the paint is dry, put strong glue where you want to put the caterpillar. I represented the caterpillar with green beads for the body and a red bead for the head. Let dry completely. Represent the eyes of the caterpillar by using the back of a thin brush. Put yellow dots to represent the eyes. When the yellow paint is dry, take a toothpick or a wooden skewer to represent the iris of the caterpillar in a contrasting color. Real caterpillar eyes don't have an iris, but mine does. Like for the other puzzle piece, glue the magnet on the back of your project and do not forget to test which side of the magnet is magnetized. Glue the non-magnetic side on the back of your project. To print the instructions for this project, click on the link below the video.